In what could be the next big scientific breakthrough, two American men have been taken off their HIV medication after a bone marrow transplant for cancer appears to have cleared their bodies of the virus. The two men, who have chosen not to be identified, were given high doses of chemotherapy and radiation, which essentially destroyed their bone marrow, and doctors replaced it with a tissue-matched transplant from a donor. They have reportedly remained free of the virus for almost four months in one case and two in another. Bone marrow is the soft, spongy area in the middle of some of the larger bones of the body. It produces the cells that make up the blood, such as the red cells and the white cells. By replacing bone marrow, one can replace sick blood cells with healthy ones. By continuing antiretroviral therapy during the time of the transplant, we could protect these otherwise susceptible cells from becoming HIV infected. But it was another man's case that inspired researchers to look at these two patients closely. Timothy Brown, also known as the Berlin patient, had a bone marrow transplant in a German hospital more than five years ago and has since cleared his body completely of the infection. Now, it should be noted researchers haven't cleared this method as an absolute cure yet, but said it was an encouraging sign that the virus hasn't come back in the patient's blood months after drug treatment ended. Still, a writer for NBC raises the question, when do you declare a cure? Turns out the answer isn't so clear. CEO of the Foundation for AIDS Research explained there never is an aha moment when you suddenly can declare a cure. It is impossible to prove the absence of something. Even in the case of the Berlin patient, researchers say there's still a chance his HIV could come back, though it is very small. And a health and science reporter for the BBC says even this potential method has its limits. And so is this really a big breakthrough quickly? It's a big breakthrough for them, but bone marrow transplants are quite dangerous, so they will ne this will never be a cure for everyone. Doctors involved in the research told NBC, though it will likely be at least a year until they declare this case a victory or not, they've learned more about what it will take to cure HIV. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.